In this video I'll show you how to draw a table of results. Now it's always good practice to draw a template for your table similar to this one here whereby you have one column here for your independent variable and four columns for your dependent variable. So just to remind ourselves we'll write it up here so independent variable is going to go in this column and dependent variable is going to go in these four columns over here. So we always put the thing that we change in the first column on the left hand side. So in this example I'm going to just use a random set of data which is looking at the size of the beaker. That's the thing we're going to change. And I must put my units of measurement in here. So units of measurement are things like centimetres, kilograms, seconds, etc. For my size of my beaker, my units of measurement are millilitres. And over here I'd have the pre-decided um, values for the size of the beaker that I am going to use because this is the thing I'm changing. I would have already decided which size of beaker I'm going to use so I can put those in the table. I don't repeat the units down, the units only have to appear in the heading so I can just put the numbers down. And this completes my column for the independent variable. So the next thing I need to do is look at the four columns which are left for the dependent variable, the thing I'm measuring. And the reason they've got four columns is because it's always good to do repeats and take an average. So I have test one here, test two, test three and finally I've got a column to calculate my average in the last column over here. So for my dependent variable in this experiment it is the time that a candle burns. Okay so the time the candle burned or burns and that because it's a time measurement my unit in this case was seconds so I can just write the S there for the time the candle burns. And then I'm ready to do my experiment and I'm ready to fill in my table of results. So now if you continue the lines along like I've done here you will have a box into which you can start recording your results when you take your experiment. So you do test one and you have a look in this case for the time the candle burns in 250 mil beaker, 400 mil beaker, 600 mil beaker, 1000 mil beaker and 2000 mil beaker and you record your results in here. You then repeat your experiment and record your results in here and do a third repeat and record your results in here. Whenever you draw a table you must do that double check have I got something in brackets here to show the units of measurement and have I got something in brackets here to show my unit of measurement.